Seven fatal shark attacks in three years have led Western Australia to start culling large sharks. Activists are outraged, but what's actually involved and will it work? Western Australia is placing drum lines along 40 kilometres of coastline in Perth and the state's southwest. Drum lines are a series of buoys anchored to the sea floor, each with a large baited hook. In Western Australia, they're being placed one kilometre off the beach. If tiger sharks, bull sharks or great whites larger than three metres are caught, they're killed. Sharks under that size are tagged and released. While Western Australia's catch and kill program has drawn thousands of protesters to the beaches, Queensland has been using drum lines and shark nets for decades, while New South Wales also has shark nets in place. Contrary to popular belief, nets do not prevent sharks from swimming into an area, but are used to catch large sharks, which then drown. In 2012-13, Queensland's program caught more than 700 sharks. Since drum lines and nets were deployed in 1962, there has only been one fatal attack on a controlled beach in Queensland. But shark experts have questioned the link between the measures and the drop in fatalities, saying it's more likely the result of a massive fall in global shark numbers, primarily due to overfishing. Mesh nets and drum lines also entangle animals other than sharks, such as turtles, dolphins, whales, rays and dugongs, some of which are threatened species. Authorities say more than 300 marine animals are caught in shark control programs in Queensland and New South Wales every year, and a third of those die before they can be released. 